In this video, I want to address a public post that was put into our good friend Thomas Parkinson's Facebook group by Thomas himself, where it really was shocking to read and as well as all the comments that followed. And I wanted to create this video to share my thoughts publicly. I wanna share my comments on this. I also wanna share what my thoughts are on this because I feel extremely, extremely passionate about our community. I, I'm very passionate. I'm very committed to the success of everybody within our community. And then when I see a post of this magnitude and then the threads that came from this post and some of the comments that were made, I feel like it is my duty to share my comments publicly and uh, one, to, to give advice to um, for, for those that are maybe involved. I also wanna share what our position is, what our truth is, what our values are and what we stand for, um, which I believe all business owners need to be transparent in, in, in having the courage to say what you stand for and what you believe in, what your truths are, what your visions are, what your goals are, and how you are working with the people that are trusting you with either a service or a, a tool or, or any type of partnership involved. I want the best. We've always wanted everybody to be successful. We want sellers to be successful, we want service providers to be successful, we want tools and software providers to be successful, we want everybody to be successful. So when I see a post of this magnitude, when there is clearly some very concerning uh, things that appear to have happened, I wanna just share my thoughts. And I'd encourage you to get in the comments down below and, and, and join in this conversation um, and, and share what your thoughts are, because I think communication I believe talking about it discussing things is very very important the fact that um, we've been in this community for for many years we have our team right now I'm stood outside the warehouse I thought I'd come outside the warehouse share where I'm at the team are working incredibly hard in there and because we are also a prep service here this is relating to a prep service I feel like that's even closer to home um, and with it being a part of our industry, I, I feel like it's also my duty to talk about it and give you my thoughts on it. So let me give you some context. Um, with first a bit of a, a formal disclaimer. The formal disclaimer here is number one, I don't have all the information. Um, I only can see what is publicly in a forum to be seen on social media. I don't know anything else I don't know the any background I don't know anything about the the service I don't know I don't know anything apart from what's been seen publicly so I may only I don't have all the context you might not have all the context but I'm going to share my thoughts based on what that is I'm also going to share the fact that we are a service provider this is in no way any type of um, any type of comment towards uh, the service or other services. Uh, I believe that there is some ethics. I believe that there is some key core values that we certainly defend and represent. And, and I'm more than happy to share with any service provider or any business owner that is doing any type of partnership, um, our position on how we feel that we should work with one another. Where does it cross the line between you know, going against sort of ethics and, and, and going terms of service. And um, ultimately, this is a bad situation. And there's a couple of number, a number of core values that we have that in my opinion, and in my, I will defend this with every inch of my body, that this will absolutely never happen inside systemized fulfillment. I can say that with, and I can prove that, with a number of very significant positions and actions that we've taken over a number of years, that this would simply not happen. It just simply would not happen. So therefore, let's go into this um, a, a little bit deeper to talk about this. 
Thomas Parkinson, who's come and visited us, he's uh, we've known him for a number of years, great guy, great person, he's come and visited us, we've had a number of videos together, he put this on a, um, uh, in his Facebook group. Fastpack FBA, in brackets, prep centre. Any, I believe it's supposed to say, anyone had any luck getting in contact with them this week, I would love to know what's going on with my stock. Considering uh, they have given us one week before they said they would destroy it. That has generated obviously some conversation and some reactions and I certainly saw that and my reaction was, wow. Because it's, it's not a comment, it's not something that you see very often. Okay, so I was like, especially with it being a prep service, especially it being um, a, a prep service that we own, that's just not something that is very often seen in a public forum. Underneath was then some uh, comments that from other individuals that have been uh, affected by this. Uh, I'll, I'll not go into specific names or anything like that. I wanted to say Thomas Parkinson's name because he has his own YouTube channel. He has been public. He's been on the YouTube channel before. But I'm not going to disclose any other any, anybody's names, um, although it is in a public forum in a in a in a, a, a group. Um, a gentleman uh, then said, um, "I've had no response from them either." Um, even though they were said that they was going to get a status update on Monday, which hasn't happened uh, because they're now interested in their new venture. Uh, there's uh, been a solicitor that's been instructed to, to start legal procedures, which has already been drafted and submitted to the courts this morning. There's a big thread that goes into there. We have uh, one of our partners then messaged in there saying, why not criminal? Because it looks like it's theft. Um, a number of others have uh, said that there's potentially been a sale of the service. Uh, uh, another seller that he knows has uh, it's got thirty-five thousand pounds worth of stock, and there's been a photo taken last last week. The doors uh, are a lot tighter than a. I'm, I'll not say this on a, on YouTube. Um, another a, a number of other people saying having no contact um, doesn't doesn't sound great. Hope it's all sorted. Um, uh, yikes! I hate it when this happens. I've been I've, I've been hit with shit prep, prep centers twice, but I uh, but neither of them just disappeared. Um, last contact was uh, May 11th. Switch prep, prep centers. Shame because they were a great prep center. Um, comments of the the victim of their own success. So there's there's a number of there's so much to unpack here and talk about. Um, let's start right at the beginning of this. Okay, first and foremost, number one, I've already said here that we and I absolutely, I'm so passionate, I am so hungry, I am so committed on everybody being successful within our e-commerce industry. Whether that is sellers, whether that is service providers like a prep service, whether that is software providers and tool providers, whether that's coaches and mentors and, and, and influencers and, and anybody that's involved, I believe the number one core, core North Star for every single one of us is to be successful to the goals that we have, right? To be successful over the long term, right? Therefore, with that being said, I also very, very strongly believe, and everything that we've done is from a prep service perspective, if you have any individual business or brand that trust you or trust us with their stock, with their business, a major element of their business that can ultimately make or break their business, that can impact the business owner, the entrepreneur that started, the, the business, the brand, the, the team that are involved, the families that are involved, it can go and spill over into from, from a professional to a personal lives, whether that is financial difficulty, if you've got a lot of stock within that business. First and foremost, if you are opening yourself up to be a service provider, if you are opening yourself up to be some type of a professional relationship where you are transacting based on an agreement, then I believe it is each party's duty, duty to be at the same, the same page, 
the same understanding that you both want to win together. And the minute that a core value, a core value that you both represent and that you both understand and you both believe in, the minute that that is, 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 is uh, broken, the trust is broken, is the minute that all credibility and all reputation and all that's gone before it, the relationships is extremely difficult to get back at that point. That is a very, very important point because, and I can only speak from us, from Systemized Fulfillment, when we first started accepting partners products back in 2016, I remember sitting in our small office with our then small team and we made some very strict core values that we represent and that we will absolutely never go against. One of them is we absolutely understand that it's a fundamentally based on trust partnership. The trust that the partners or clients that have presented to us. Therefore, anything that's important to those partners and the success of those partners is absolutely should be at the forefront of the core values. Therefore, that's why we said, number one, communication is absolutely key. Speed of shipping is absolutely key. Quality control is absolutely key. Um, any type of further resources and bonuses and anything that can help the individual be successful is absolutely key. Being transparent, being open, sharing the, the status of every piece of stock within the operation so they can see, even though they're not here, that they can see what's there. These are cardinal rules, these are fundamental principles that are so important within our industry the same as if you think of a, I'll go to a different industry, let's say a bank. The number one rule for a bank is do not lose your money, right? Our money. The, the bank is there to ensure that if you need your money, your money's there. If you went to the bank and you didn't have, like, where's my money? That would be a fundamental breach of trust and credibility for that bank. The same for products, right? The same for an e-commerce business, same for a prep service. This is so critically, fundamentally important that it defines everything that you as a service provider should focus on and that you should defend. So therefore, number one, the foundations built on trust, then layered upon the core values that represent the success long-term. Therefore, with that being said, it's very, very disappointing and it's very upsetting that any service is either, it, they have either experienced difficulties, they either experience, you know, a negative impact on their business, whether that is in, within or outside of their control. I'm very compassionate with difficulty that any business can, can, can uh, experience. Business is extremely tough. Uh, when you start thinking of teams and your families and your partners and everybody involved, it is it's very, very difficult to be a business owner. But even if there's, a, if there's an ultimate failure of a business, you never ever compromise the values that you represent. You absolutely never ever compromise the values that you personally and professionally represent. That's why one of the things that we have always personally here been guided upon is those core values and, rep and, and, and representations. And therefore, everything that we've personally done has been to that. So it's very, very one upsetting that communication has been a breakdown. It's very upsetting that clearly there's a lot of stock that's involved that we do, I, I certainly don't know where that is. Obviously, again, to remind you of the disclaimer, I'm just looking at this from outside. There's a lot of, there's businesses here with lots of money here that we don't know where things are and it just simply is a cardinal rule that's been broken. Whatever's happened, whatever's going on, 
it's a cardinal rule that everybody should work towards what actually happened with this stock, with these products, and let's get this stock out of there. Even if you're moving on to another ad adventure, even if you're moving on to another business, even if you're pivoting your business, maybe you're shutting down your business, you've got to clean the business up and, and have, a, and have a, 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 a suitable end to when everything has been the, the 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 dots have been at, the the i's have been dotted and the t's have been crossed and all the loose ends have been tied and bowed and everybody's happy there's not a, ever a problem with somebody going ah, i want to go do this now or i'm not interested in doing that anymore but the, the what you can't do is leave it open so that is a, a major a major problem here a couple of other things um that has guided us personally and, and and the reason why this simply would not happen for us and this is why it's deeply concerning as well is there's there's a number of things that we've always done in the background such as we've got um 24 7 security if something ever did happen all the everywhere is is look uh, is is under 24 7 monitored alarms we have um CCTV, cloud-based CCTV in and around the, the, the building from front to the side to the back, inside, in the different offices, in, in the warehouse itself. Security. Um, num after security, we also have then fundamentally insurance, right? We deal with hundreds of thousands, millions of pounds worth of stock here and therefore we have also got the necessary insurance to cover us at any given time that covers hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of stock because it's simply, um, even though the, the likelihood of any type of break-ins or disasters, fires or things of this nature is very unlikely. You, you, again, true to the core values, you still take action upon that. You still make sure that you address that and you still make sure that you put things in place within your business to ensure that, that it's very limited or what the repercussions could be. We have fire systems in here, monitored all, all the way around the building. The, these are fundamentally important things that as a, as a business owner um, you, and as a service provider, you need to have. Like I said, from a bank perspective, for an, that you would expect your bank to have insurances in place. You would expect to have security in place. You would, you would expect to have you know, those, those uh, security measures and the, and the insurance measures and the protection measures all in place. So if they are accepting people's capital and money and well earned, whether that's trust funds and savings accounts and, and, and wages, you expect that level of, uh, of, of, of non-negotiable uh, principles and this is what we defend, okay? That's simply why we've done all the things that we've done. Um, looking at this a, a little bit deeper is um, if in the event they have moved on to other ventures, well, like I said, there's, there's, there's no harm in wanting to move on let's be truthful again you've got to tie the bows you've got to tie the knots you've got to dot the t's and cross the i's it's so so important that you represent that because your reputation is absolutely everything we me head on publicly if anybody ever had any issue with with myself or with systemized fulfillment we will we will take that head on like every part of failures that we've had successes that we've had everything that's ever happened we want to own it and go how can we learn from this how can we make it right by this and how can we improve to go forward because our vision is we've got an ultimate vision for 2030 so we've still got you know seven years to go with our personal ultimate vision and um and, and after that we're going to continue right but we want to publicly share what we're doing and how we're building because it's fundamentally built upon that trust when that's broken that that doesn't just follow that doesn't just impact you in the moment it impacts you indefinitely going forward the saying goes you know it, it can take 20 years to build a reputation and it can take you one moment to destroy everything that's why the name your brand what you represent is non-negotiable 
you have to have principles in place that you ultimately come to, to accept feedback, you discuss feedback, you look at it in terms of, okay, we've learned here, we've experienced here, we've failed here, we need to make this right, we need to move forward, and what can we do to prevent it going forward? That's why we, right now, seven years into the journey, we are on version 500 at this point, right? The amount of improvements, the amount of upgrades, the amount of um, technical developments, the, ima the amount of things that we've done over and over again to, to keep helping us evolve, to be more transparent, to communicate more, to have more insurance, to have more protection, to have that open transparency and trust is absolutely paramount. And I, I, this, this, this video here, sharing this publicly, that's why I wanted to create this video, because I don't want to just put a message, I want to actually address this through a video. So it's public, it can be seen on our YouTube channel, on our Facebook, on our you know, Instagram, social media, and ultimately to our partners that trust us. We simply would not ever, this, this is just simply not going to happen, ever. I also want to just quickly, um, you know, if, if from a from a seller perspective, because I, I wanted to address that from a, a, a partner perspective, uh, um, uh, from a, a, a business owner perspective, a service uh, perspective, from a seller perspective, you know, I, I would recommend um, you, you have to build trust. Um, you, you have to look at what they're doing you have to look at their website you have to you have to get to know the business before you trust them I think this is all sort of things that we already do I also think it's important to ask whether insurances are in place uh, what the you know terms of services are public you know they can go on their website look at terms of service ask them whether they've got insurances ask them whether they've got security ask them what happens in the event of a fire ask them all these questions just so you can for yourself know and understand what actually happens at given times um, I also want I'd encourage you to say well what is your long-term vision what is your 2030 vision what is your 2040 vision that gives you a bit of an understanding of, of do they have intention of staying around like are they actually set up on and how much emphasis have they put on their vision going forward because then that gives you a bit of an idea of like what you're building into right what are you starting and then building into um i also believe that it, there's no there's absolutely no uh, uh, concerns um and why you shouldn't want to visit your, your prep services um i know certainly we have our vip experiences and, and we have our partners visit and we have our annual masterminds and events um I, I think if you've got a prep service anywhere i think it's i think it's important that you go can i come and visit you let's have a look around let's go speak to the team who are these individuals that i see on slack or email like can i, can I let's shake our hands let's have a cup of tea let's have a let's have a bite to eat let's actually build a bit of a relationship so you you can see where you're at and you can see where your products are and you can see who's going to touch your your you know valuable goods um and um finally um I would, I would just encourage you to keep giving feedback. Feedback to your services, to your product providers, your uh, tool providers. Give as much feedback as you possibly can. And um, just, under, just know that you, if you're both working on the same, the same core value, if you're both working on the same core vision, the ultimate vision together, that you're in synergy, then no matter what happens, bad or good, you know, success or failure, challenges or, or, or issues, if you come from the both, both from the same points of view and you have that understanding that you want to be successful together, then you're going to have that give and take that you go, look, we can make this improvement. It might take us, you know, two months to, to build this out and we'll go into a beta and there might be a few issues that we experience, but the outcome will be better for us and it'll be better for you. Also, ideas, like, great, let, let's have ideas, let's have feedback. If something bad's happened, like, what can we do to avoid this? What can we implement? What can we invest in? Is that within our reach right now to invest in? And I, I believe if you come from that point of view that you're on the same page together, then there should be no reason why any business that starts successfully ends up being 
uh, uh, falling out or, or something that can turn even serious, that impacts people's families, their livelihoods and all the work that they've done. Um, there was one comment about victim of their own success. I've always believed, and that's why we call it systemized, that it's so important as you continue to build that you remind yourself on what you represent and what your core values are. And therefore, as you continue to build, you, you are reinforcing and reinforcing those foundations. And everything that is built upon those foundations, you're having great success and you're scaling and you're getting recommendations and you're getting people join. If there's any breakage or if there's any issues that arise, just go back, keep going back to that foundations. Keep going back to the foundations of your processes, your systems, your team, your competencies, ultimately the infrastructure and keep, keep re re not put patches and, and plaster tape around what's actually going on and keep actually building new structural girders around your foundations and that's what's going to allow you to keep building in the right way so um, i want to just to finally say that it's a really really upsetting post and an upsetting video but i wanted to address it i want to just share our thoughts on it if anybody's got any comments or if you don't if you disagree um you know i just want to share what our truth is and what the, what our belief is i encourage all service providers whether you're a prep service or you're a software service whether you're a coach or a mentor just to share what you how you do things what you believe in what's coming up in the horizon what your visions are because relationship built around trust and truth is always going to be the strongest relationships and um for anybody that does want to consider working with us here at Systemize, please check out systemizefulfillment.co.uk or .com or uh, .eu. Um, we have a, an epic mission. We ain't going anywhere. Um, I feel sorry for any service that has decided to maybe move on or whatever. I, I want, from an outside perspective, want to encourage them to, to think about lessons learned and, and, and the things that we can do better. Um, but you know I, I i feel passionate about this industry and i feel passionate about the people within this industry the service providers within this industry and i have no hard feelings against anybody i want us all to be successful i know how difficult it's particularly this service is you know obviously i don't we don't have a software of, of that nature um, or any other tool or anything like that we do have a great service like it, we do have a great service we've got lots of uh, great reviews we have great testimonials um, but it's extremely difficult and it's and, and I and I I am a true um, I am a true encourager of any other uh, other partners in in this industry whether that is other services I don't see any of us as competitors I see us all as we are trying to help and trying to grow um, and you know ultimately we may have partners go, some partners go from one service to another and all, and all these that happen. But ultimately, I want everybody to be successful. And we ultimately just focus on what we're doing and what's in the need for our partners. So consider reaching out to us if you're interested. Um, my name's Kev here from systemizedfulfillment.co.uk.com and .eu. Um, Please consider watching the YouTube channel, subscribing to the YouTube channel. We have lots of great content in here. It's not like this usually. Um, very much positivity and optimistic and, and strategy and, and, and belief and systems and team building and, and, and all these things. But I wanted to address this because when a prep service goes AWOL or there's something significant that happens, it needs to be discussed and um i wanted to be somebody who says this out in the open and shares what our truths are so take care keep taking massive action and for all involved uh if there's any way we can help we're there to help you but secondly um i hope it resolves and everybody can move on um and, and learn lessons going into the future take care and keep taking massive action bye bye